Mario Duba, and thank you for joining me today here in our bespoke Honda studio for the live launch of the all-new Honda Civic EHEV. Coming up in today's show, we'll be pulling these silks and discovering everything you need to know about the all-new 11th generation Civic. We'll be talking design, performance, and of course, the tech behind this latest addition to the Honda family. Now, you might be thinking, Ori, what do you know about driving? I mean, I ask myself the same question most days. But everyone needs a little help sometimes, so that's why I've enlisted some famous faces from the auto world across Europe to help me. Uh, we'll be catching up with them shortly, but for now, it's time to introduce our first guest. He is here to tell us everything we need to know about this all-new Civic. It's Honda's John Kingston. John, hello, how are you? Great, thanks, Ore. Really looking forward to introducing the all-new Civic to our viewers. I can't wait. But not only are we unveiling the 11th generation of this iconic model today, but we're also celebrating its 50th anniversary. I mean, why do you think it is so popular and why it stood the test of time? Well, 50 years is some achievement, isn't it? And Civic has always showcased the very best and latest Honda technology. And this latest generation is no exception, as it features the innovative EHEV hybrid powertrain. Now, Civic has always been synonymous with the Honda brand, and if you ask someone on the streets of London, Rome or Paris to name a Honda vehicle, they'll probably name the Civic, such is its strong reputation. Yeah, its reputation precedes it, doesn't it? Um, I think it's time to get straight to it. And time for us to reveal what is under these silks. John, would you like to do the honours? Thanks, Ori. Now, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the all-new Honda Civic EHEV. I mean, there you have it. The all-new Honda Civic looks great, doesn't it, John? Yeah, it's fantastic. We're really proud of it. You should be, absolutely. Um, now, earlier you said that this vehicle is offered exclusively as a hybrid. Tell us a little bit about the system of the EHEV and why is it important? Well, already the Civic is actually the fifth model that we've launched in Europe in recent years to feature that EHEV hybrid powertrain. It consists by combining an efficient petrol engine with two electric motors to give that perfect balance of both performance and economy. In urban areas, the car will operate almost exclusively in electric vehicle mode. At higher speeds, the system will shift between hybrid and EV mode. And at motorway speeds, the petrol engine will directly drive the wheels. The result, fantastic economy and a seamless delivery of power and we've really worked on the driving dynamics of this new Civic. Of course. I mean, it looks appetising from here. It really does. Um, there are two cars up there. What can you tell us about the differences? We have a number of different models to suit different customer requirements. The entry grade is the Elegance grade, which features 17-inch alloy wheels, the Honda Sensing Active Safety Technology, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and, of course, that fantastic EHEV powertrain. In the crystal blue, we have the sports grade for customers looking for that slightly more dynamic feel. Now, this model features two-tone, 18-inch alloy wheels, leather and suede trim, and aluminium sports pedals. And finally, in platinum white, we have the top-of-the-range advanced grade, which has the full leather trim, the panoramic sunroof, and a fantastic 12-speaker Bose Centerpoint sound system as standard. So plenty of options to choose from. But Ori, the big question, what's your favourite? I'll have both, John, if I'm allowed. Um, now, I can definitely see myself cruising in the crystal blue here, and I'm a big fan of those alloy wheels as well. Um, but tell us about any more customizable options that there are so that people can really have them standing out on the road. Yeah, ab absolutely. We've got a range of, of packs that owners can use to customize the exterior look of the vehicle. These packs come in carbon, gloss black, titanium, silver, and they allow our customers to really shape 
and give a bit of a different twist to the exterior look of the vehicle, we've also got a special diamond cut alloy wheel available. Fantastic. Thank you for now. Uh, we'll be taking a closer look at the all-new Civic shortly, but for now, the eagle-eyed among you may have spotted a certain motorsports champion by the name of Thiago Montero having his first go behind the wheel in that earlier film. And through the power of the internet, he joins us right now. Thiago, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. I was actually very lucky to be one of the first ones to try the whole new Honda Civic. Now, Thiago, be honest, what do you think of the all-new Civic? Very exciting, very exciting. I mean, the first feeling was great. It was really a big step up from uh, the previous version once again. And the design looks uh, really nice and aggressive. The interior, very comfortable. Tell us, what, what makes the Civic such an iconic car for Honda? Well, you know, it's a, a brand that's been around for 50 years already. I mean, Civic name, a lot of people associate it directly with Honda. So it's very iconic, very strong. People, everybody knows the, the Civic, and if he's been around for so long, it must be for something. You spent your life driving performance cars. How does this all-new Civic stack up as the driver's hybrid? Well, it's a big step up, a great improvement. The, the power delivery is so much smoother, but at the same time, you can feel the, the, the aggressivity that you need when you want a bit more performance. So it's looking very, very um, positive and exciting. For sure. Tiago, thank you very much. I mean, the man knows what he's talking about, right? John, are you ready to see the new Civic's performance put to the test? Of course. Excellent. Well, that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to head over to Spain to see how Racing Supremo Sofia Flush got on when she took the all-new Civic for a spin. This is the 11th generation of the iconic Civic. And the first one to feature the EHEV hybrid technology powertrain. I'm racing driver Sofia Flush, and I'm here today in sunny Spain to take this all new Honda Civic out for a spin around this beautiful track. So, yeah, let's do it. Under the bonnet, we have a unique system. There is a two liter direct injection petrol engine coupled with two electric motors and a newly developed power control unit. What it all means is that you have that instant torque and powerful acceleration while still having outstanding efficiency. The engine noise and also the vibrations got reduced compared to the previous Civic models but still you have this sporty tone which gives it a really nice touch. So the Civic brand is known for great handling and straight line stability and this all new Civic is no exception. This is due to the longer wheelbase and wider track. The car is actually also really comfortable to drive because of these body stabilizing seats. It's the first Civic to have these and you really feel the support on the upper body. This year is the 50th anniversary of the Civic. Honda first introduced it as a car for the people back in 1972. The Civic has evolved over 11 generations, winning several Car of the Year awards along the way. It sold a staggering of 27.5 million units across 170 countries since it first came off production line. If you want to talk numbers, this Civic delivers a maximum motor output of 135 kilowatt and 350 newton meters of torque. When it comes to acceleration, 0 to 100 in just 7.8 seconds. This all new Civic is not just an amazing driving experience, it's also really efficient. CO2 emissions from 108 gram per kilometer and a fuel economy of 4.7 liters per 100 kilometers. I've really enjoyed taking the Civic for a spin. It's been a smooth ride, really enjoyed driving around on the racetrack. I'm gonna do some more laps now, so yeah, see you all soon.
Great to see Sophia there, really showing us what the all-new Civic is capable of. Now, John, when it comes to performance, how is it that Honda have managed to take this 11th generation even further than its predecessors? Well, throughout its history, the Civic has been known as the driver's car, and this 11th generation is no exception. We've already heard about the outstanding efficiency and economy, but our engineers have worked really hard to focus on the agility, responsiveness, and driving dynamics of the new Civic. Characteristics that you wouldn't normally expect to see in a hybrid. There's 315 Newton meters of torque. So when you press on the accelerator, you really get pushed back in the car, it's quite noticeable. Mm -hmm. And at higher speeds, you always get a sense that there's plenty of power in reserve. On those winding roads, the chassis and suspension have been tuned to give a direct feel for the driver and even the engine sound has been refined to give a really exhilarating feel. It's a true driver's car. It really is. Um, before we let you go, where do our viewers need to head to get their hands on the all-new Civics? The best place to go is the Honda website, where you can find out all the latest information about the new Civic, especially specifications and prices, and you can register for email updates. From this September, the car will be available in dealerships and available for test drives throughout Europe. Fantastic. Join the queue, I'd say. John, thank you so much for talking to us today and giving us everything we need to know about this brilliant car behind me here. Now, when it comes to impartial reviews, there's no better man I trust to tell it straight than motor journalist and creator of the Late Break Show, Johnny Smith. Here's what happened when he had a look at some of the design features of the all-new Civic. <laughs> The first thing you notice with the all-new Civic is its refined, fresh design. It's a sleeker, simpler, cleaner design, especially in profile form where you have this new fastback, coupe-like back end. And that's reflective of Honda's man maximum, machine minimum principle, whereby all the design and all the technology revolve around the most important element, the driver and the passengers inside. So let's talk about the exterior again. So in order to create this lower roof line that goes into that fastback rear end, it actually all starts up there with the A-pillar. So by relocating the A-pillar from here back to here and then raking it over a bit more, that dictates the roof line and that coupe back end. And in doing so, it makes you think the bonnet's longer, but it isn't. It's a little bit lower at the front and that by doing that, you can relocate this wing mirror a bit further back, and that reduces blind spots just here. The new Civic is slightly longer than the old one, slightly longer wheelbase, but shorter overhangs, and it's also wider track. And this design of arch here emphasizes that kind of more planted stance. Then you've got this simple but strong crease that runs all the way down the waistline of the car into the rear clusters, and that runs in parallel with the glass house there, which has been moved down, but it's no smaller than the previous Civic. Let's look at the front, because obviously that's the first thing that you see. Now, the new Civic's got this honeycomb grille, which is set into this black new mask style design here, and within that, sculpted in, are these LED headlights. There's more of these honeycombs inside. Similar to the exterior design, Honda's made a point of trying to keep things cleaner and simpler in the cabin. Now, that honeycomb on the front grille is echoed across this full width metal vent here on the dashboard. And below that, there's physical buttons for all the things you need to access quickly and easily without fuss, like the climate control, for example. And on the side of this nine inch touchscreen infotainment display, again, there's some physical buttons for volume and home. And that's mounted quite high up so that you don't have to keep fluctuating your eyes up and down too much, distracting you when you drive. That incorporates Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Top spec Civics get a 12 speaker Bose audio upgrade. As standard, it comes with an eight speaker system. And top spec cars like this also get a 10.2 inch digital binnacle display. So all new Civics are now hybrid, but Honda's made a point of saying that the extra hybrid tech does not impede 
on any of the cabin space and nor does the lower roof line because you can see at the back there's these huge cutouts for the passenger headroom and because this is a longer wheelbase car than the outgoing model that means extra legroom in the back there this is also the first Civic to showcase body stabilizing seat design, which is designed for extra comfort in your lower body. Now, these A-pillars, this design revision that we mentioned earlier, that actually means that this windscreen is actually wider than before, which gives you a broader field of vision. And that also lets a bit more light into the cabin. Ever since its conception 50 years ago, the Civic's always prided itself on accessibility and practicality, and the new version is no exception to that rule. Take the tailgate. This is now made out of resin as opposed to metal, so that's 20% lighter. The boot area, the aperture is wider than ever, so it's really easy to load stuff in. It's still a really good boot space. And this, this is a neat touch. No annoying, parcel shelf, big clunky thing, just a simple effective roller blind, which is neat. Oh, and also, we started this whole conversation about that fast back design. Look at this glass. The glass comes all the way to the edges of the tailgate. Excellent visibility, good for aero. So there you have it, the all new Honda Civic. And as if by magic, here's Johnny. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Um, now, Johnny, we just watched you expertly showing us around the all new Civic. Yeah. Um, some lovely upgraded features on there. What were you most impressed by? Well, I think the first thing that I really um, was attracted to is the fact that it's just, it's a less cluttered look. It's cleaner, it's simpler, which makes it, I think, a bit more striking. Mm. The second thing that I really like is incredibly geeky. Go on. It's the parcel shelf. Nobody likes conventional parcel shelves. They get in the way. They're annoying. This has like a retractable roller shutter. So simple. Uh -huh. It just works. It helps our lives. I'm all about the practical. <laughs> I love that in you. Um, but you being the auto aficionado that you are, I'm surprised that you were happy just wandering around the car and not jumping in, right? Well, it's funny you say that because I did get to drive it. Um, I actually got behind the wheel um, in Spain. I caught up with um, a food and travel expert called Yamina Naya, and we went on a little road trip. All right, let's see how you got on. Look at this, look at this landscape. I love Spain, it's so beautiful, and the thing I love the most, I think it's the food. Go out, eat, pick some tapas, sangria, but I think my favorite thing is still cheese. Cheese lover. Yes. Okay, so sangria and cheese. Yes. <laughs> Interesting, good combo. I'm being a bit distracted actually by this dam. It's amazing. Because it's, it's glorious. So pretty. It reminds me of a James Bond film every time I see a dam. <laughs> but the thing about Spain for me is like a car enthusiast. People come from all over the world to drive rural Spanish roads, mountains. Really? Roads. In fact, do you fancy a go in this? Really? Yeah, you should have a go. Sure. And keep your eyes peeled for someone selling something really tasty Yay. at the side of the road. <laughs> What are you thinking? Do you like it? How do you feel? I love it. It's really relaxing. When I drive, it's really smooth. Yeah. And I love the light. It's like, and the windows everywhere. And it's spacious. It's actually got a pretty good sized boot too. Oh, it's good. When I go on road trip, I have so many clothes. <laughs> so. <laughs> Can wirelessly charge your phone. You're a professional Instagrammer. Yes, I am. <laughs> so you're going to always need charging ports. The fact that you can just put your phone and charge it. Yeah, and cool. just sit it there, yeah. Here, where is the cheese, man? There is a man selling cheese. And you're going to go get some, aren't you? Of course. Or I'm going to get you're some. You're going to get some for us. <laughs> you were supposed to get a slice. <laughs> I just thought I'd get the whole thing. <laughs> and I feel like this car, it's either good to go to the city or go on a road trip. And well, that's when your EV comes in. That's when you're in the slow speed, stop start, congestion it'll be electric only. The good thing about a hybrid like this is it, is it takes the complexity out of what you're doing because the engine's always trying to be as efficient as possible. And this is the first time a Civic has been available only as a hybrid. Really? Yeah. And that's the thing with the Civic. I mean, it's 50 years old now, but it's always, always tried to be an economical car. I like it just because it's pretty. 
just like the car, <laughs> like it's kind of like little gadget thing. And it's big anyway, but there is a lot of space. It is good, it is good. And you are tall, so you can see. I'm tall, I've got plenty of space, <laughs> yeah. You're not annoyed that I bought a whole wheel of cheese, are you? We can never get enough cheese. <laughs> I know it's fun and all, but... One, one last chop, one. Chop, chop, Come on, chop, it's chop. the perfect selfie for the perfect day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> I mean, I'm not jealous at all, Johnny. <laughs> Looked like you had a great time with you, Mina. Tell us, how was it? It was great. Uh, a lot of cheese was consumed. Perfect. Um, the roads were, were gorgeous. You saw, you know, that sort of dam reservoir scene. Reminded me of being a James Bond film. <laughs> It's great. It's really, really good. <laughs> I mean, all of us at some point when we're driving like to feel like we're in the James Bond movie. Yeah, yeah. So we're one in the same. <laughs> um, and what about the all-new Honda Civic? How did it handle the Spanish roads? Because you took on some different terrain there, didn't you? Yeah, the roads were amazing. Um, the ride was really good quality. It was challenged because um, when we were going through the woodland area, there was a lot of potholes and things we didn't always see on camera. And it coped remarkably well. Uh, and the handling. And actually... When, when Yamina was driving it, it was interesting for me because I found out she'd never driven a hybrid before. Um, and it was an all-new experience for her. Um, and she was surprised at kind of how easy it was. You didn't have to do anything specific. Mm -hmm. You could just get in, put it in D, and, and it would do all the work for you. Yeah. Earlier, John was talking about the seamless feeling of power in this Civic. Yeah. You've driven a lot of hybrids before. Tell us what that feeling was like as the driver, the, the person in charge of the car. Well, I mean, often getting a hybrid car to feel kind of charismatic and kind of dynamic is quite hard. Um, but that actually surprised me, the sort of, um, yeah, the handling was really good. The steering feel was excellent. And those roads, you know, they were the right kind of roads you'd want to drive on. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I did it. I really enjoyed it. And for any other consumers out there like you, Mina, who've never driven a hybrid before, tell us, what, yeah. what does it mean? What can they expect when they are taking on a vehicle like this? The thing about hybrids is, is, is all that technology is designed to do its job without interfering with your life. So it, it, it kind of works behind the stage curtain. You get in it, you drive. If it's slow speed or in cities, it will try and use the electric motor as much as possible. Its job is to be as efficient as possible. So it's always trying to use hardly any fuel. Um, and you wouldn't know what it's doing most of the time until you put this display on the screen and it gives you this graphic to say, oh, I'm using a bit of power from the engine now. Or, oh, you're, you're on the brakes, so I'm regenerating the battery. But if you don't want to know, you don't need to know. It just, it does it all kind of like, you know, cracks on quietly, which is what I quite like about it. It works yeah. for a lot of people in a lot of situations. And this all new... Civic, does it get the Johnny thumbs up? I'm going to give it a thumbs up. There we go. That's the seal of approval we need. <laughs> Johnny, thank you so much. Great talking to you today. Thank you. And that's all we've got time for here today at the all-new Honda Civic live launch. Thanks to all of our guests and, of course, to all of you for watching online as well. Remember, if, like me, you want to get hold of the all-new Civic, then head to your local Honda website. Before we end today, we'd like to share a sneak peek of the hotly anticipated all-new Civic Type R ahead of its unveil later this summer. Let's see how it handled on the track. I tell you, you're going to love it. We'll see you soon.